Spot, Spot, lovable Spot. He's soft and cuddly and he smiles a lot. If there ever was a pup to cheer you up, it's Spot, Spot, Spot. Our story's called Spot's Windy Day. One windy day, Spot went out to fly his kite. See you later, Mum, he called to Sally. Mind you don't get blown away, said Sally. Spot ran up and down the field with his kite, trying to get the wind to lift it up into the air. Suddenly, a strong gust caught the kite. Woo! cried Spot. Look how high it is! Then, oops! said Spot. How did that happen? His kite had landed in a tree. Spot looked up at it. I can't reach up there, he said. That's the end of flying my kite. Oh, drat! Spot started to walk home. He was a little sad. Leaves were blowing all around him in the wind red, yellow, green, and orange ones. I'll try and catch a leaf, he said. But it was harder than he thought. As soon as one came near him, the wind whisked it away again. Spot looked up and saw something big and dark blowing about above him. It wasn't a leaf at all. Why, it's a hat, said Spot, reaching up. It blew here and there. It came lower and lower, and whoosh! It landed right on Spot's head and covered his eyes. Spot couldn't see anything, but he heard a voice say, Well, well, there's my hat. Spot pulled on the sides of the hat, and someone pulled on the front. Pop! Off came the hat, and Spot found himself looking up at Mr. Kangaroo. Thank you, Spot. You saved my best Sunday hat. It was nothing, said Spot. Still, one good turn deserves another, said Mr. Kangaroo. Let me know if there is anything I can do for you, Spot. There is. My kite is stuck up in the tree. Can you reach it? said Spot. Certainly, said Mr. Kangaroo. And he gave a huge jump and knocked the kite down to the ground. Wow, said Spot. I'm glad your hat found me. Spot ran with his kite again. This time the wind took it and it went soaring up into the sky. Thank you, Mr. Kangaroo, Spot shouted. But Mr. Kangaroo couldn't hear. It was too windy. <laughs> Thank you.